Are you ready for your rap lessons? Mm. Nah, Sculpts. Kendrick Lamar breathes heavily. Kanye West nods nervously. Jay-Z sighs. Yes, Dream. They say in unison. Dream, a Minecraft content creator, a popular Twitch streamer, a man who has been accused of many things, and not all of them are about being the best Minecraft player ever. But that's not what I'll be focusing on in today's video. Instead, we'll be talking about Dream's music career. And yes, Dream has a music career. You may remember his popular song, Mask. That's what the mask is. That's what the point of the mask is. But a big consensus on the internet is that people don't really like Dream's music and think it's kind of corny. Maybe because they don't like Dream as a person, or maybe because they think the music is just bad, or maybe both. However, something that I can respect about Dream and his musicianship is that he never gives up. Like, I've always wanted to make my own music personally, but just the thought of trying really hard on something and people calling it cringe is enough to keep from me starting in the first place. So I can respect him on that level for keeping the music coming. But all of this leads to something that happened about a week ago. Okay, so I was just browsing the web today as I do, and I saw that Dream released a new um, album or EP or something. So being a big fan of music, especially physical media like CDs and vinyls, I wanted to see if he had anything to offer. And OMG, I think I found a great deal. Okay, so on his website, they have this CD available for $10.99, which it's um, only seven songs, so it's over a dollar per song. However, it comes with a signed CD and a signed letter from Dream, apparently. And I'm kind of a broke college student who isn't the biggest fan of Dream. However, this does seem like a pretty cool item to have, especially for less than $20. So I think that I'm just gonna impulsively purchase this and see if I can get it. Yes, guys, I bought Dream CD. It's not my greatest moment, but I thought it would be funny, okay? So now, hop in your Minecraft bed, put on some of your favorite dream music, and don't forget to take your normal pills, because this video is about to be cool. I don't know. Now that I think about it, the CD should get here right now. I feel very embarrassed walking around in public with this. Yeah, that was probably the most shameful walk I ever had back to the dorm because I was carrying this. But like, it's some cool branding, so you gotta respect it. But I guess now this is the part where I um, open this. So without further ado, it's time to see what the Dream CD looks like. Ooh, priority mail. I really hope I didn't get charged extra for this. All right, so discarding everything that has my address on it. First, we got this Dream sticker sheet, which is super epic sauce. You jealous, Noah? Yeah. It says, wear a smile every day. And random fact, the color orange was originally named after oranges. Nice, thanks for the fact, Aww. Dream. But now for the main event, this priority mail that's very um, nicely packed in. OM Geography. I got the Dream CD. Okay, so on the front we can see a letter, um, which is the album cover on Spotify. It says, To whoever wants to hear, slow down, enjoy your life. You only experience this kind of love and happiness once. Um, and I'm just gonna skip reading the rest, like you can read if you want to. But on the back, I'm not gonna lie, they kind of actually popped off with this art. Like it's him looking at a board with the song titles. A lot of cool Easter eggs for the fans there. Like how Everest, it says, top of the world, tallest mountain, high on life. You can really tell the deeper meaning of the title. It was also advertised that the CD would have Dream's autograph. And the only thing I'm seeing is this thing that's just normally on the album cover. But maybe inside he left me something special. All right, so now we open it up and <gasps> there is a letter from Dream, maybe. And look, someone signed it. S for Dream. I mean, Clay's his real name, so someone signed it. Okay, and inside of here, we just got the typical stuff on CDs. They have uh, the song titles, the uh, pictures of Dream. Okay, and here's the obligatory song credits. And here's Dream 
This is me when I realized the Dream CD came in Dream packaging and I had to carry it across campus to my dorm. And now let's just pop this CD out. I don't know how much you can pick up on the camera, but you can kind of see how much has been burned onto the CD. And it's really only half the amount because it's um, an EP and it's like 20 minutes. To grade this CD experience, um, it actually was pretty well put together. This is like a very nice CD. But yeah, I got this CD, a uh, signed letter, and these cool stickers. So if you're a Dream Stan, this might actually be a great investment for you if you really enjoy his music. And yeah, but there's a lot more to CDs than just the parts that you see. There's also the parts that you hear. But as much as I enjoy listening to music, I am by no means a music expert. So I'll need a little help with that. Hey Blaze, guess what I got? Dude, no way. Is that Dream's new EP? Uh... Yeah, I don't know how you knew that, but do you want to react to it? Eh, why not? This is Blaze Sherman, another YouTuber who also goes to UT. What is this for? He makes content that specializes in analyzing music, so I think he'd be the perfect person to listen to Dream's album with me. This is also my first time meeting him, so hopefully I don't make a bad impression. So, you told me before that you've never even listened to a Dream song before? I didn't even know he made music until you contacted me about this. You see, it'll be hard to disappoint me because literally my standards are on the floor already. So what I'm expecting here is gonna be like, oh, production, be pristine, you know? He probably just threw money at a bunch of engineers and they got it amazing. But as far as like the actual kind of song content and kind of just how you know, it works, it's gonna be probably like a uh, poppy uh, auto-tune vocal, not a lot of kind of movement mm -hmm. up and down, you know, and obviously. It we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Track one is called Slow Down. Gonna say initial oppressions, literally the exact genre I was thinking of. Gotta, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta got dance. Sure. It's decent. It's not like, oh, wow, this is like horrible music yeah. or anything. You'd almost think as a popular YouTuber who kind of took over the internet by storm with the brand new creative things like Minecraft Manhunt, you you think, you know, you do something different than just the typical everyday common mm -hmm. song. It's literally like it's a five. It's just mid. <laughs> I guess. I give it a six. I think, I think you'll understand why as this goes on. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> do you think he wrote this about... The uh, fans. Steve. This song is so bland that it makes his other two look much better. Production quality amazing, even even coming from, you know, this uh, old radio. I can tell that, oh, it's very expensive sounding. But just kind of the, the songwriting of it, the kind of just the form, it's so whatever. <laughs> this one four, honestly, maybe first one is six. I would say it's like Imagine Dragons, but I don't think it is. Like modern Imagine Dragons, kind of. You think like Thunder, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, I think that's fair. The vocal effects. Can he play a musical instrument or is he just like also the one singing? I mean, he can, he can play that Minecraft. I'll tell you that. Of course, much. yeah, yes. Literally five. It sounds so similar okay. to the first one. This one is called Spotlight. Is this written from the perspective of Dream Stan? That's what I'm wondering. Ooh. <laughs> you like that? You like that? Oh, that little falsetto, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. He's a young Ariana Grande. Of course. Well, this might be the, the little fatigue from too much greatness, of course, but um, like, a, like a four, man. It's, yeah. it's, I was going to say it was going to be a three, but I'm going to bump it to a five because I did enjoy when he got the falsetto. Um, this next track, I believe, is Everest, and it features Young Gravy. I actually don't like Young Gravy that much. I'm sorry. Enlighten me. Who's Young Gravy again? He's like that, that guy that like dates moms. I'm... What? <laughs> Honestly, it, it works because of just how repetitive it is. It's yeah. just something new. Finally, yeah, like a different sound. A feature, yeah. It's just when you do the same sound over for long periods of time, you just tune it out. But yeah. here, like, it changed. And honestly, like, I was in the entire time listening to him. I have bad news for you, though. There's two more songs after this with no features. <laughs> I would probably give this one, like, 
a 6.5 out of 10. It's almost a seven, except I just don't like Young Gravy, oh. but he did carry. The best music comes from collaboration. And I think, I think Dream knows this and that's why he collaborated once to prove it. What? <laughs> this one is called, called Invincible. Invincible, oh boy. Dude, someone took the totem of a dying with him. If you catch my vibe. Uh, I, I catch it. Loki, I'm enjoying this. I think it's really, it's, he set you up with the sound. He then switched it up so you briefly forgot about it. And now you're coming back to something kind of That's familiar. That's so true. That's so true. Uh, you know, uh, give it a six, put it on the shelf, give it a pat on the back, and let's go move on. I give it an eight out of ten. An eight? Wow. You really it, like No Young Gravy. This one just sounds like a Minecraft song from like 2012 that people put in their edits or YouTube intros. You're actually so right. <laughs> what he's doing is he's secretly trying to copyright all of the YouTube intros so we can just start <laughs> setting takedowns to all the oh, channels. Oh, right, yeah, take down all the other Minecraft channels. <laughs> that was over. incredible. I'm so sad now. Dream's new EP, To Whoever Wants to Hear, is a modern masterpiece that's not being talked about enough. Um, I'd have to rate the album a solid 11 out of 10. How about you? Why do we even have classic and cool music school? It should just be dream school, honestly. Honestly, why don't we have a dream cult here at the school? I feel like we're really missing out there on some, uh, some just some good old fashioned love and, you know, warm feelings inside. Uh, needless to say, he loved it. But as I reflected on the events of this video, I couldn't help but feel like something was missing. I mean, Dream's latest EP was truly great. But not just that, it was art. And true art is not just something you keep to yourself. It's something to be shared with others. So I decided to give my Dream CD to someone I think would really appreciate it. My friend Angela, who now runs a radio show on the student radio station. Hey, hey Angela, yeah. I know you're live, but uh, yes. I have a special gift for you. Okay. It's Dream's new album. I know you're really into, I know you're really into the underground stuff. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. We always play, none of the hits all the time. Love Dream. <gasps> you want me to play this? Sure. All right. The people need to hear Dream's new album. Yeah, it needs to be on the radio waves. All right, I just got this album, Dream. We're gonna listen to some Dream, his new album. I think we're gonna start up with Until I End Up Dead. Enjoy. I couldn't believe my plan worked. Now the entire world, I mean the entire Austin area, would be able to hear Dream's new EP. Nothing could stop me now. Okay, I understand. Yeah, it won't happen again. Thanks. Dude, I... They canceled my show. Why? Because I played Dream. Take... take No, this no. I can't. They, they, they won't let it. It's too good. It's a hit. We're not supposed to play hits. Sometimes, people just don't understand true art.